when you first started, of course, you got the the, the real big push. And when you kind of look back at, at, at your years there, I mean, there was this the, obviously the big period at first where where it looked like they were grooming you for the world title, and then um, you were just then you know things kind of settled down a little bit, and then there was that period where you were you know pretty much disappeared off the face of the earth. When I heard it initially, I was blown away because nobody has or probably ever will be in that position ever again. So it's something I cannot complain at. But if, I guess in the ideal world, if we had more of a slow build and led to that moment, once that was more established, that might have been the more ideal way. But I can't complain at all because people remember that and people will remember that because it's never been done. The boss has never done it since and never will do it again. So it's pretty cool to, you know, add it. It just perhaps wasn't the most ideal way to go about it. This man, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a future world heavyweight champion. With that in mind, allow me to introduce you from Scotland. There is Drew McIntyre. There is nobody on the SmackDown roster that can match my unlimited potential and aggression. This is a very talented yet arrogant young man. I believes he is uh, ordained to be a star. No matter what it takes or who he's got to go through. And ladies and gentlemen, I can assure you, the party has just begun. I am your intercontinental champion. I am undefeated. And most importantly, I am unstoppable. When Mr. McMahon personally signed me to SmackDown, I knew what I was capable of. And I knew just how quickly it would come. deserved exactly what he got when his authority was completely eviscerated. And I, Drew McIntyre, truly deserve to be the chosen one. That was the peak of that gimmick and like that's when things started to go down from there. Unfortunately, it kept spiraling down. You know, there's a lot of stories out there that aren't necessarily true and what people believe. There's certain things I won't go into detail. Are you talking about stuff with your wife or whatever it was? Or what you... Sorry, yeah, that's okay. Like, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Issues. Like, issues. Things that are blown out of proportion. Gotcha, people gotcha. With your ex-wife, I should say. Things ex that were resolved instantly. I guess when you're in the boss's position, it doesn't look good for somebody that's supposed to put mm -hmm. at the top of the company. I don't know if this was a factor. I know when, like, myself, I wasn't the same guy. My mother was always my 
biggest supporter during that time is when I found out she got sick with cancer. And when that collapsed my world, like my mind, my personal life, everything just fell apart. When I found that out, that was the most important person in the world to me. It's so hard being away, being such a family guy. Because inevitably, when she passed, uh, that was like, the end of me. Like, I let a lot of things get to me personally. I might have not been the easiest to deal with at times. That might have affected how things were backstage. And I believe that was a strong factor. Things I probably wasn't easy to deal with at times. I pride myself on being a nice guy. and Everybody knows deep down I am, but I was struggling. When you went to Raw, your career just kind of spun into a tailspin. I can't have someone here on SmackDown that doesn't have that passion that you once had. I'm afraid I'm going to have to start thinking about letting you go, Blair. There is nobody in this company with more passion than me. Pick it up, pick it all up, and start again. You've got a second chance, you could go home. Escape it all, it's just irrelevant It's just medicine It's just medicine You could still be what you want to be What you said you were When I met you When you met me When I met you News. Drew McIntyre, are you freaking kidding me? Think of all the people that were released, you were the most surprising. I cannot believe these events. I cannot believe that WWE has released Drew McIntyre. So far, the most shocking on the list. To be honest, that was a bit of a shock. I never expected Drew McIntyre to be on that list. All I've ever known is wrestling. Like, that's all I was ever going to be. I was born to be a wrestler. I was naturally blessed. This one was not a good decision. I can't say it was. I think Drew McIntyre did not get an opportunity to showcase himself. I think it was just the right time that we had to part ways. I'd been there for so long, and the character that I was playing at the time, there was no way it could have transitioned into anything serious. I'm just looking to put in some good performances around the world, get a little buzz going, and I will be back.